You're listening to the Parents of Hardworking Teens podcast, episode number eight, and I have a question. Has your teen ever been anything like me as a teenager and shunned your advice when you've been trying to help with their study or maybe even given you the bonus eye roll or tut in the process? And let's be honest, this was not just in my study. This was other areas of my teenage years as well. I'm very sorry, mum. Or maybe you would like to be able to help your teen more. Maybe they want you to help them, but you're not always sure about how best to do that. Or maybe you are curious about the sort of coaching that I do with students. Well, today we are going to talk about the similarities and differences between the roles of parent and coach for your teen in their study and how your teen can have both. I'm Katie Jones, and with over 15 years in education as an award-winning high school teacher, international external examiner, and as a study coach, I've helped thousands of students skyrocket their results and confidence. And this podcast is where I share all my insights, tactics, and tips with you, the parent, so you can help your hardworking team get happy, smart, and successful in their study, and have you both enjoy the journey along the way. This is the Parents of Hardworking Teens podcast. Hi, VIPs. Now, before I get into today's episode, and it's going to be a juicy one, I want to let you know that right now I am delivering for free my five-step plan for parents of teens aiming high in exams. I am hosting everything for this event inside a private Facebook group that you can get access to at www.greattransformation.com forward slash group. Let me say that more slowly. www.greattransformation, all one word, dot com forward slash group. So if you have not already joined and you're listening to this while the group is still up and running from the 18th to the 22nd of July, in fact, I'm going to keep it going over the weekend as well. So that'll be through to the 24th of July. Then come and join me and a small group of other like-minded parents to discover the exact steps to having your teen finally get the exam results that they really want even if they are already doing everything they're told to by their teachers. Now, all of the recordings will be there for you to catch up if you need to. Like I said, that's why I'm going to keep them there for that extra weekend so you can do a bit of catch up. So you are absolutely welcome to walk in late. But the sooner you get in, the better, because I have got live prize giveaways, including my essay title swipe file and even a personal coaching session with me for your team. So definitely come and join us in the group. And if you're not on Facebook, no worries. We also have a special private web page. It's called the Five Steps Homeroom, where we'll also be posting all of the recordings of the live session so you don't have to miss out. Just join through that same link, www.greattransformation.com forward slash group, and you will receive a confirmation email and that will have a link to that homeroom. Okay, so let's get into today's topic, the roles of parent versus coach. And when I say parent at any time, even in the name of this podcast, whether it's in my webinars, in my free guide, I do mean anyone who is acting in the role of primary carer, no matter what your official title or relation. And in fact, I actually should say parent and coach, not parent versus coach, because I know that a lot of you are being both. And I know also that some of you listening have your teen in next level coaching. So you get to be fully in the role of the parent and me and the next level team get to take the part of coach. Now, I should also say, in case there is anyone who's new to me and doesn't know me so well, I am not a parent. So... There will be no parenting advice on this episode or in fact anywhere in this podcast. I do have a dog, Bonnie, who is our closest thing to a teenager for me and my husband. We always joke that she is basically like a teenager because she will often push the boundaries. Yes, we actually do have a lot of rules. She needed a ton of training when we got her. Plus, she has her other 
teenager traits. Like, she can be a little bit too smart for her own good. She is super smart and she seems to sometimes know what is happening, even before we do sometimes. <laughs> she always wants a sticky beak into whatever is going on. Her nickname at the shelter we got her from was Miss Sticky Beak. And in contrast to what her adoption page said at the rescue centre, she does not love cuddles. <laughs> she usually just shrugs off a bit of a hug or a pat, unless it is a belly rub, which she does love. But I vividly remember her description. It said, super smart and loves cuddles. And they got that hard right. She is super smart and she is not aggressive or anything like that, but she's just not a snuggly, cuddly dog. I like to think of her as an independent woman. She would rather have her own whole half of the sofa than cuddle up on my lap. But we keep on loving her anyway. We say that we love her against her will, which is sometimes, I think, like having a teenager. Anyway, more importantly and relevantly, I also have over 16 years worth of experience of working with teenagers as a teacher, a tutor, a study coach. And I have seen those not so discreet eye rolls. I've heard what they say to their friends at lunch times. And I was a fairly classic teenager myself. Not so much with pushing the boundaries. I've kind of always been a bit of a goody two shoes, really. But definitely with those eye rolls being pretty ungrateful and generally thinking my parents had no clue about life. All the usual things. So as I was prepping for making this episode, I decided to look up the definition of coaching. And Google says that to coach is to give instruction or advice. And I think that's pretty good. But what I actually love are some of the synonyms for the verb coached. They are taught, educated, managed, corrected, prepared, informed, developed. And interestingly, one of the synonyms for coached was fitted, which I actually really like because to me, that's about the personalized element of coaching. And these are the sorts of words that I would use to describe my work with students in my next level coaching program. Because to me, coaching is about working more closely with students to specifically identify their strengths, to optimize their areas to work on, and to develop them in those areas. And on the other hand, the verb I give to delivering my 10-week grade transformation program is training. It's teaching students the concepts and having them practice them and understand them. And to me, that is training, learning something new, practicing it, building on the basics they may already have some grasp of. In fact, I will say this as a side note, I actually have a lot of students in the 10 week grade transformation program. In fact, I'd even say probably a disproportionate amount where at least one of their parents is a teacher. But as their parents have told me, they don't want to take the academic advice or training or coaching from their parent. But as a teacher, their parent knows that the training will benefit their teen. So how is being a coach similar and different to being in the role of parent? I think it's safe to say that both of us want your child to achieve their potential, achieve their goals, build their self-confidence and pride, be set up for success and be resilient in the face of challenges and learn from failures when things don't go to plan. But there are different ways to do this. So we're both working to the same outcomes, but we go about it differently. We both have different skill sets, approaches and connections with your team. And if you end up tackling a situation as a coach or teacher, when really maybe your teen wants you to be a parent in that moment or vice versa, then that's where it can cause, let's call it a dent or a bit of maybe a breakdown in those parent-teen relations. For example, both you as the parent and me as the coach want to build confidence in your teen. But a coach will do that by building your teen's capabilities, their skill set, their mindset. And a parent will more likely build their teen's confidence through love and building their sense of self-worth. Both parent and coach are going to want to provide support. 
And they both do that by being encouraging and recognizing and celebrating strengths. But as a parent, you'll likely provide more of the emotional support and a coach will provide more of the tactical or strategic support. And teenagers want to feel understood. And as a parent, you'll provide that understanding, or at least try to, by discussing their personal challenges, their queries, their questions. And a coach will discuss their challenges and queries in relation to whatever it is they are coaching, in specifically this case, their study. And for sure, both parents and coaches want teenagers to achieve their goals and achieve their potential. I believe that both parent and coach will be helping with things like resilience and reflection when things don't go well. But also, a parent will likely be more involved with that personal guidance, the morals, the ethics, the personal decisions. And a coach will be more focused on helping them achieve those goals by developing the skills, the strategies and techniques that they need to be able to do that, giving them a way to practice and get expert feedback on those skills to help them hone and up level them in the ways that they need to to achieve their goals. And in fact, sometimes, totally understandably, I think that parents can sometimes be a little bit worried about their teen really going for their goals, which I totally get because parents worry about the potential impact if their teen doesn't achieve a particular goal. You know that you're going to be the one trying to console them, to pick them back up, having to teach them that resilience that we just mentioned. Whereas for a coach, a coach's actual job is to help your teen achieve and reach their goals, to have them do it in a sustainable, controlled, i.e. no luck needed kind of way, that is their key purpose, to help your teen reach their goals. And so when you're talking with your teen, maybe think about which hat you want to be wearing in that moment. It might even be worth telling them which hat you are wearing when you are saying something or having a discussion with them. Sometimes I have said to students, well, As a teacher or as your teacher, I will say this. And when I'm coaching students, I'll often say something like, well, as your study coach, I'm going to be blunt here. I'll say to the whole group, because we always do this through group coaching. I'll say, okay, now get ready because I'm going to give you some tough truths. But that's what we're all here for, right? (laughs) And I know that as a parent, you might need to tread a little more lightly. That bluntness is not always a good option. Now, if you think that your teen would be more amenable to training with someone other than you or willing to get coached and have constructive feedback from an expert outside of their household, then I want you to know that all students who complete the 10-week Great Transformation program are eligible to come join me in Next Level Coaching. This is where we up-level the training from the 10WGT, that's 10-week grade transformation for short, and really apply it tactically and strategically to your teen's own study in detail, and they get to see it in action with the coaching and tasks of other students too. And in the 10WGT, they can get a taste of this from the very start. Every student in the 10-week grade transformation program gets to come to three of these live coaching calls. They can ask any questions. They can be coached personally in applying all of the skills, the strategies and techniques that they learn in the 10WGT to their own tasks, assessments and any part of their study. And this is just one of the bonuses that is included with every enrollment in the 10WGT. But also... Right now, this week, as part of the five-day live event that I am running for parents of teens aiming high in exams, I am also in there sharing a special invitation for the 10WGT at the end of Friday's VIP Masterclass. And that invite will include two extra limited time bonuses that are not 
included in the 10WGT as standard in the normal enrollment. So definitely come to that particular session live to get in on those if that is of interest. So I hope you've gained some useful insights from this episode and learned a little bit more about me and the two programs that I run. The 10-week grade transformation program, which has all of the critical training for students in years 9 to 12 or year 13, depending on your school system. And then next level coaching in my monthly coaching program where your team can take everything further with personal coaching, monthly focus challenges, events like our recent essays bootcamp and much more. So I really hope I will see you in the Facebook group this week. Remember to go to www.gradetransformation.com forward slash group to get access for free and I'll meet you back here on the podcast next week. Thank you so much for listening. Make sure you head on over to www.rocksolidstudy.com and sign up for my free parent guide. The three huge mistakes even smart students make in exams and assignments and how to fix them immediately. And I'll see you back here next week.